have a favourite wicked character from any of the stories you've heard or read? What about Cinderella's wicked stepsisters? Or the wicked stepmother in Hansel and Gretel? Or maybe the big bad wolf from Little Red Riding Hood? Sometimes, even though a certain character behaves badly in a story, we can't help liking them just a little, as long as they get their comeuppance in the end, of course. Hello everyone, I'm Kathleen Pelly. Welcome to Journey with Story. Today's story is a story poem about a pirate who was wicked, as wicked as could be. But still, there's something about him that you can't help but like. Let's take a journey with The Pirate Don Dirk of Dowdy by Mildred Plu Mikes. Ho! Oh, for the Pirate Don Dirk of Dowdy, he was as wicked as wicked could be. But oh, he was perfectly gorgeous to see, the Pirate Don Dirk of Dowdy. His conscience, of course, was as black as a bat, but he had a floppity plume on his hat, and when he went walking it jiggled like that, the plume of the pirate dowdy. His coat, it was handsome and cut with a slash, and often as ever he twirled his moustache. Deep down in the ocean the mermaids went splash. Because of Don Dirk of Dowdy. Moreover, Dowdy had a purple tattoo, and stuck in his belt when he buckled it through were a dagger, a dirk, and a squizamaroo, for fierce was the pirate Dowdy. So fearful he was, he would shoot at a puff, and all was at sea when the weather grew rough. He drank from a bottle and wrote on his cuff, did pirate Don Dirk of Dowdy. Oh, he had a cutlass that swung at his thigh, and he had a parrot called Pepperkin Pie, and a zigzaggy scar at the end of his eye had pirate Don Dirk of Dowdy. He kept in a cavern this buccaneer bold, a curious chest that was covered with mould, and all of his pockets were jingly with gold. Oh, jing, went the gold of Dowdy. His conscience, of course, it was crooked like a squash, but both of his boots made a slickery slosh, and he went through the world with a wonderful swash, did pirate Don Dirk of Dowdy. It's true, he was wicked as wicked could be, his sins they outnumbered a hundred and three. But oh, he was perfectly gorgeous to see the pirate Don Dirk of Dowdy. So, what did you think of our pirate Don Dirk of Dowdy? The poet described him so well, you have to admit, he must have indeed been perfectly gorgeous to see. And did you notice what fun words the poet used in this poem, like a floppity plume, a zigzaggy scar, a slickery slush? This would be a great poem to learn by heart, and of course it would be a great poem for you to illustrate. Maybe you could learn it and recite it to your dad for Father's Day that's coming up very soon. And I'd love to see some of your pictures of our wicked pirate Don Dirk of Dowdy. Cheerio then. Join me next time for Journey with Story. <laughs> <laughs>